Welcome to Brain Map Anatomy. Today we will see the classification of joints. Joints are defined as the junction between two or more bones. We will be dealing with the structural, regional, and functional classification of joints in this video. Based on the type of tissue in between the bones, there are three types of joints under the structural classification. Fibrous joints, where it is fibrous tissue intervening the bones. Cartilaginous joints with cartilage in between the bones and the synovial joints which has a complex anatomy. The fibrous joints can be further divided into three, in which we will see the sutural joints first. Five different varieties of sutures are seen in the skull. Plain, serrate, squamous, denticulate and skenolysis sutures. The syndesmosis is the second type of fibrous joint. Syndesmosis is the Greek for ligament, and here the bones are connected by interosseous ligaments. Middle radioulnar joint and inferior tibiofibular joint are examples of syndesmosis. Gomphosis is the third variety of fibrous joint and is seen in the tooth which is attached to the socket by periodontal ligaments. Cartilaginous joints are of two types, primary and secondary. Primary cartilaginous are temporary joints which ossifies at a later stage of life, seen between the epiphysis and diaphysis of growing long bones. They are also called synchondrosis. Secondary cartilaginous joints are also called symphysis as seen at the pubic symphysis. Synovial joints, the highly evolved and freely mobile joints can be plain, uniaxial, biaxial or multiaxial. Plain synovial or gliding joints are seen at intercarpal and intertarsal joints. The uniaxial joint is further divided into hinge and pivot varieties. Elbow and ankle joints are hinge joints. Superior and inferior radioulnar joints, as well as the median atlantoaxial joint, are examples of pivot variety of uniaxial joints. There are three types of biaxial joints, ellipsoid, saddle, and condylar joints. The wrist joint is an example of the ellipsoid. The sternoclavicular joint is of saddle variety. The knee joint is a perfect example of the condylar type of biaxial joint. Multiaxial varieties are the ball and socket joints seen in shoulder and hip. And by that, we finish the structural classification. Functionally joints are of three types. Synarthrosis are immovable as seen in the skull. Amphiarthrosis are slightly mobile as seen in the cartilaginous joints. Diarthrosis are free mobile, the synovial variety of joints are highly mobile. Under regional classification, joints can be skull variety, vertebral type, or limb type. You can see there is overlapping between the classifications and the skull variety is mostly fibrous sutural, vertebral type is mostly secondary cartilaginous and in the limbs, joints are mostly synovial. We will see the anatomy of the synovial joint using a brain map in another video.